Are you going to be here? How do we... What's the way of paying for that again? Yes. Thank you. 
responsibilities for the change in the programme, we have a song from Helen Hennessy, and by popular request, you best to sing Balabona. Thank you. 
Passover, suffered, and will be served. So you can all get your tickets ready. I the sun to jolly back around the king's abode. It's soon I'll see the whole town tree on the old bark road. My mother died last springtime when Ireland's fields were green. But the neighbor said her funeral was the finest ever seen. There were snowdrops and primroses piled up beside her bed. And the parish church was crowded when the funeral match was said. But here was I in Broadway digging breaks for love. They carried out her coffin down the old fog road. In a neat little town they called Belfast, a princess to pray that he was born. And as many as the old three houses, I spend in this neat little town. Let's watch the music came over me, taught me to stray from the land. Got away from my friends and companions to follow the black velvet band. Her eyes are shining like diamonds. Do you think she was queen of this land? With her hair and over her shoulder, tied up for a black velvet band. So judge and jury next morning, the boat aboard to the pier. For a gentleman claimed his jewelry, and the case against us was clear. Seven long years transportation, right on down to Van Diemen's land. Far away from my friends and relations, betrayed by a black velvet band. Her eyes are shone like diamonds, you think she was queen of the land. With her hair and over her shoulders, tied up with a black velvet band. Her eyes are shone like diamonds,
And this is Ted Kelly from Sound another one of our friends. So, he was saying to me, and I'm asking to say hello. Oh. <laughs> and we have Margaret Connell here, Margaret. Margaret is a member of Court for Quartet. So, hello. Now we have one of our own residents, Tim Joy, and from Sound Hall, Tim is a fine musician as well as a fine dancer. Hello. And one of our wonderful fellows that we've been having since he was a tiny little lady. <laughs> Connor McCaffrey's on the mall. Hello. <laughs> and another lovely lady. <laughs> Mary Dean, Mary's a teacher and she teaches in the And Mary is one of our newest members. Hello. Now, we are in the... <laughs> yeah. There's eight more to come, so the musicians will start playing now in a minute and we'll introduce the other eight to them. <laughs>
Oh, the banner 
which I'm not running and around so long on the Galway shawl. Gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the moment. Tell your next dance, please. And now I'll introduce you to the remaining eight. Now we have one of the hardest working men on our team, Jimmy Sullivan, from Santa Hall. He is a member of the Heaney Forces, and he had the job of training the dancers. So he sweated out for the last six months, one night he was training the dancers. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Peggy. And now we have the treasurer of, of our group, Nancy O'Donovan. Nancy isn't from the parish of Virginia. She's originally from Fremont, and she's teaching in Gripsy. And she holds the post. Hello. <laughs> and now we have Teresa Dini. Teresa is from Ryland, but her mother is from Bellamy Green. So, hello. And my own offspring, now at least there's someone of the city boys. Louise. Hello. And we have our solo dancers, Geraldine Conroy, Geraldine from Ballin Blah, but her mother is Kitty Corky from Ballin Green. Hello. And oh, the talent he himself. He needs no introduction, really Corky. Hello. And on the back here we have Paddy O'Donovan. Now, Paddy again is not from the parish of Inna. Originally, Paddy is from Kilmoiti. Say hello, Paddy. No. And last but not least, our, <laughs> our very famous accordion fairy in the back, Martin Terry. <laughs> and I would like you to welcome tonight our two of our friends from the Menwes, Dick Daly on fiddle and Mick Holden on accordion. No. <laughs> and Jack in the drum, so all right, sir. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs>
song called James Connolly. Whenever you're ready. Covered of sizes to men um, with their heads all uncovered, they knelt on the ground, all inside that grim prison, let a brave Irish soldier his life for his country about to lay down or oh, he went to his death like a true son of Ireland the fire and party he bravely did say for when rang out, present arms and fire, oh James Connolly fell into a red teenage grave, oh the black flag was hoisted, the crow hold it over, and gone was There was many a sad heart in Dublin that morning when they murdered James Connolly, the Irish rebel. Oh, God curse on you, England, your cruel hearted monster, your foul would shame all the devil in hell. Oh, the snow flowers growing, but the shamrocks are blooming on the grave of James Connolly, the Irish rebel. Oh, the poor court of Dublin. The English bombarded their spirit of freedom. They tried hard to quell, and the bold IRA they stood shoulder to shoulder as the blood from their bodies rolled down Saxon Street. Many years have gone by since that Easter rebellion when the guns of Britannia they loudly did speak and above all the din came the cry no surrender was the voice of James Connolly the Irish Robel thank you thanks very much All right, thank you The way rover for many a year. Come on, and I spent all me money on whiskey and beer. And now I'm returning with gold and great store. I never will play the way rover no more, and it's no nay never. Ah, pick up your skirt, no nay never, no more. But I play. No, never, no more. I went into an alehouse I used to frequent, 
Then I told the landlady the money was spent. I asked her for credit. She answered me, nay. Such a gossip as yours I won't have any day. And it's no, nay, never. Ah, pick up them skirts. No, nay, never. No more. For I play the while over. No, never. No more. And out of my pocket, took sovereign's bride. And the landlady's eyes opened wide with delight. She said, I have whiskey and wine's all the best. Ah, oh, the words that I spoke, they were only in jest. And it's no, nay, never. Ah, pick up them kids, no, nay, never, no more. For I play the wire over, no, never. I'll go back to me parents, confess what I've done, and I'll ask them to pardon their prodigal son. And if they'll correct me as all times before, I never will play the way rover no more, and it's no, nay, never. I pick up them skirts, no, nay, never, no more, for I play. The wire over. No, never, no more. One more time, and it's no, nay, never. Ah, pick up ten skirts. No, nay, never, no more. For I play the wire over. No, never, no more. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. He loves his better than me. He took down by Kalami three months. I did train the sun and the moon. It was shining. The moon rose the glare. On that rock of golden hair, where she promised she'd be my love forever. So red is the rose that young the garden grows. There is the lily of the vine. Here is the water that flows from the vine, for my love is fair than I. My love is fair than I. Can we have the first gentleman up on the floor with an odd sock? An odd one. I'll tell you what you do. Turn right around everybody. Turn right around. Face the ball. All those on the floor face the ball. No looking back. No looking back. No looking back. Right. I'm going to ask you something to do. We're going to play a bit of a tune, right? And as we play a bit of a tune, all I want you to do is dance away. Just play a bit of a tune, you dance away, right? First of all. Any kind of a tune we say like that. Thank you. 
I think this is very fair because I left your uh, tunnel room, right? Yeah. Now, I'll ask you to take three steps forward. And if the man alongside the first one of you uh, is a man with a lady, each one of you has a lady with you, right? Whatever man is with you wearing a red tie is the winner of the spotlight. On your right. Has to be a red tie. It's red enough, certainly. Okay. Thanks very much.
that's the last song we sang there was a lovely song. Um, what is the name of it? The Dear Little Eyes. The Dear Little Eyes. Mm-hmm. And the Queen, which is one of the songs. Yeah. Tell me now, um, I believe you had some famous trip to America. Could you tell me something about it? Uh, well, you went in July 81. 81. Treasure was went there. It was a corpus I was in for that. And we went to New York and Boston. We stayed in New York and Boston. We sat the mountains of state New York. And um, it was a fantastic time there. We were treated like royalty, you know, they couldn't, just because we were royalty. It was incredible, really incredible there. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the hour, hours in American show, like uh, to any other people going over there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, the friendliness. Mm-hmm. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. yeah. Just we lost our way, and only three guys asked anybody in the world. Yeah. They go their way, and that was what they had. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They were the only people that had a good time. It must have been. Um, Cassie, uh, as a group, as a corporate group, and as a Cassie to pound, how did we um, organize it? How did we come up with funds to go there? Well, we decided to <coughs> hold a raffle, and uh, we got sponsor prizes. We each of us helped there to get sponsored, to get the sponsor prizes, I think. We took about nine months to sell tickets, and at the end, then there was a draw. There was a big draw, and we saw the prize from the Hotel Clock, we were there to go for the tutors. And the ticket went, which I sold them in Limerick and in Kerry and in Cork and the other the two, you know. And um, it was divided in between us and that's how it was from the right to go to the bottom of it. And the the initial cost, uh, have you any idea? Roughly, right? Mm, we earned around six hundred pounds each. Okay. That's what we got the bank on, mm-hmm. six hundred pounds. You know we'd loads in that. Yeah, had you? We had. We, we took money in case we didn't know how we were facing it. <laughs> Even though that I had booked in the rocks from here. But, I mean, we don't know what's going to happen when we get there. Mm-hmm. You know? I know what you mean. But uh, we, we didn't go out there to make money. Yeah, I understand. But we were paid like for the whole performance. Yeah. So it was more like a holiday store, like a workman's holiday. Yes, 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 yes. We mm. wanted to see the place and we wanted to see as well. Yeah. You know? And um, the cat was like it's all out. Mm-hmm. Totally out. We're going to have a pretty low look there actually. Yeah. And we used to stay there in different pubs, that's what we put in the other pub even before it's up in the morning. Mm-hmm. They don't throw it in the whole fall. Okay. And um, they really loved what they had. Mm-hmm. Nearly 4 p.m. for people and nearly stories, they went down a bomb there. Mm-hmm. He's the Shanna Queen. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's just cute. Stories were really fantastic. Yeah, I heard him before and he was very, very good. Mm-hmm. You were playing it in one place one night and um, it was so silent now, you think there was nobody else there. And the pub was so packed, they were sitting on the floor around it. So after one, the barman said to me, he was afraid to move the glass. Because he'd be, he'd be kissed mm-hmm. and made noise, you know. Mm-hmm. They were back at him, just now, mm-hmm. moving the back of him. Oh, no way. No, no. You have a different lifestyle, yeah. You know, the lot of these Americans came by the census. Oh, they were, yeah. They'd come yeah. up to you and tell you, if they weren't out, they'd know it's boys, and they'd know it's girls, and they'd something, you know. Mm-hmm. Oh, they were, they were. Oh, they're, 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 they're an amazing day. Yeah, yeah. Um, the actual flight over then, like, have, have you flown before? Oh, I have. Everyone did. Mm-hmm. You've been to other parts mm-hmm. of the world, so. I've been to the wood. I've been to London. Yeah, so. We didn't do any singing there. <laughs> <laughs> we did. <laughs> we sang in those with the last night we were there. Mm-hmm. We did sing song in the bell. Yes, we did. Um, you said you, you were in New York, or you, you landed in New York? Oh, right? yes, we were yeah, in New York. you stayed in New York for? We stayed uh, one night when we were there first, and then we went up to the castle, mm-hmm. and we stayed there a week, and we went to Boston, and we stayed there the most for another week. Yeah. We came back to New York and for two more days. Mm-hmm. We saw the sights as well, the castle was, you know, and... Mm, what's that again? Go to Disneyland? No, no, that's... The other side, that was the other side of America. That's right. Um, the first day, we went up the top of that. And we saw a lot in the time we were there. Mm-hmm. We went to Saratoga, the race course. I've never been to a race in my life, I went there. <laughs> so we went there. It's a novelty. Mm-hmm. You, you said you have flown like, before, but how about the rest of the members in the, in the group? Were they a bit nervous of going? Or? So, some of us were, some of us were, we didn't stay there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
we didn't meet up with um, any natives of Rohingya or we did, we did, well, I did, I met up with relations, two relations of mine, actually, I, one I didn't even know existed, mm -hmm. just pure coincidence, mm -hmm. and another one I knew about, all right, but I, I'd never met them before, mm -hmm. and when they knew there was somebody from a phone saying it was in Boston, and saying in this place, she came along and she asked me during the interval if she could dance, and I said she could, and she said she was from a phone, and she actually was a relation to now. Mm -hmm. And she's Irish, she's American born, she's a fantastic step dancer. So we did, we met um, Weir Kong, Weir from Korea, from the back of Barona. Yeah. He came to see it from Ice in Castle. And I think everyone knew me as somebody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you um, make a, a friendship with a lot of people? Uh, are oh, we going, did. Are they oh. going to come back and visit you at some stage? Well, we were invited over when anytime we wanted, you know? Yeah. And actually, Neely was. They wanted him to come back and do a season there. In one of the places where he was in now, they wanted him to come and do the season. He went down so well there. Okay. We probably went to some time. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it nothing organised for the future, so? No, <coughs> well, there might be things in the pipeline that went, you know. Mm -hmm. Any funny incidents? <laughs> <laughs> mm, <not laughs> there must be well, something. That's a funny incident. I don't know, we found funny incidents. Well, I suppose the way I met a relation of mine was sort of strange in a way. It was in the way in the bus station in New York. <coughs> the escalator was broken and we had to walk up the escalator, it was mm -hmm. broken. And it was very high and at the time we got to the top of it, like we were a bit exhausted and maybe the language was a bit shy too. And <laughs> this old lady was on top of the escalator anyway and she asked, could she help, you know? So she was, she was old now, mm -hmm. this woman. Mm -hmm. So she said she had, I could really come and she said, you're Irish, and she asked me where we were from, and I said, McComb, anyway. <coughs> so she said um, that she had uh, her husband was from a place called Balmabree, and at this time, this stage, now the rest of the group were gone mm -hmm. for the bus to the castle, and they were showing me to marry, and I wanted to hear more. So wasn't he, he was Crone from Mulderhorn, Caraginima, her husband, and he was a first husband, my father. She was from... Galway or something like that. Did that continue? Mm -hmm. And the top of the air. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So is you, you, you know all the future plans at the moment? Like well, no. Not really. Well, we'll see. Yeah. Something happens every year for us, like, so we'll see what happens next year. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Something usually happens as well. Yeah, but there's lots of things like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Peggy, that was lovely uh, listening to you there. Um, mm -hmm. Well, before you go, you must do us the honours now with another song. And uh, before you sing, I'd like to thank you. And uh, future. We hope to meet you again. Mm -hmm. So we'd like to hear. What is the song about? It is a local song. It is about Mama. It is a Bengal song, right? Mm -hmm. It was written by John Corky. He's, he's still living, actually. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The hills are clad in purple land, and the sky like warbles high. And many the fine September morn, when all oh cloud all oh cast the sky. Down from Armour Valley comes a cool and a gentle breeze. And won't you wander there with me to kiss the blackberry? There is a happy hillside where the hair lives lone and free, where most remorse in love deprived, look down on thee a week. Lady Luke, by winding blue, 
that leads them to the fair. The life is gay and bright as day. I've gone to meet them there. But Mary dear, we do
the kind of citizen aspect, you know, with the post after that, even the mm-hmm. So you took the government out, it took a bit longer than the <laughs> Yes, the is very exciting. It's just for me, they are like, we were the beginning of life. Mm-hmm. So they held the same that too? Yes. Mm-hmm. But there were other groups that were from Ireland as well. What was that? There were, yeah. there were um, two part bands, traveling from Dublin, there was a um, better group from Galway, and there was another position group from West Coast. So we were, um, we all met over the next year, we were more of the same community. Then there were dancers and part bands from the other participations as well. Scotland, Wales, Cornwall, mm-hmm. Australia. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the yeah. That's the yeah. Yeah. Well, the yeah. 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 Getting back to your argument, Nancy, um, you said you, 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 you organized the whole trip. Um, obviously, you were in contact with some group in, in France. Yeah, well, I'm um, looking at trains with school breaks, and they took the rest that we were invited to France. Yeah. We got quite that. Simply because we had to work there with this audition before we got there. Mm-hmm. And there was um, a gentleman involved in the Interpretive Festival to see if the audition for us. Mm-hmm. So, and I don't know that. We go to our dances and we can just see all the music. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. So we have a lot of questions put in before him mm-hmm. and there's a lot of hard work and things with giving him the low dance trainer and he did a very good job. That's very good. It, it, it must have been very interesting for the group as such. I mean, it was your first time in France. It was it? our first time yeah. in France, yes. Yeah. Why did you get it? Uh, what type of France were you in? We were in the audience. No, really. It was not in France. Yeah, that's in the half of Britain, isn't it? Is, it, yeah. it is. And the language problems in? Well, it was mainly French that was yeah. spoken there. It was Britain. But um, when there were so many Irish people there, mm-hmm. and uh, we learned, we had a little bit of French, which was used, but we were able to get what they wanted. Yeah. And uh, we managed okay. We found people very helpful to us and very good and with us. Mm-hmm. And the food problem? Well, we managed, we managed your okay. <coughs> The food, most of the time, was, you know, the coffee would get at home. They even went to the shop and they are cooking bacon, cabbage, and potato salad. Just to make it Just to make it easier at home, etc. We went to you, I was working in the meat, we was with the potato, then we started finding out the vegetables. We did not stick to the food, we did not even get potato. It was, we got to four times maybe, because we were there during the same day. The rest of the group there, how do you introduce them to me and tell me just if I say how to do that? Yes, it was our dance trainer and Peter was Lucas and dancing for us. Kate was one of our dancers and Louise was one of our dancers. So 16 of us traveled all together. We had a senior session of 16. And this was an organization, you know, you were on let's say it's probably a couple of hours every night in different parts of Britain. Yeah, and we had right? some performances during the day as well. Yeah. A lot of the performances were in the audience as well, but a few of the performances we had to get out of town. Mm-hmm. And it's like, um, on Saturday, we went out to a place called Nathalie, which was about 80 miles from the audience. Mm-hmm. And uh, that day, it was a large experience, really, because we found the people so patient, because we were supposed to perform at about 2 o'clock, and it was open here, it was raining. And then we waited that time until 7 o'clock to your appeal to the manager. So you went down a bomb? We did. Of course. The next, um, the people that are not smiling away, that's the same, so I just want to comment over you. What did you think you were about that? I found it most enjoyable. Mm-hmm. Um, the dancing was nice to see the dancing from the other competitors that were there. But I will say that all that is sent very, very well there. I was very, very pleased with them. All the hard work that we went to here before we went really, truly really paid off. But 
I can honestly say that in the dance between basic muscles won't be saved while the body are. We dance just very laid down sometimes. One night we dance in a, in a performance in the square at half past uh, one in the morning. Mm-hmm. All those performances would last for about a half an hour. But you would be amazed at the amount of people that was there at that particular time. That really and truly want the Irish music started in any corner. Mm-hmm. Just even coming, that they, they were reminded of Floyd, but mm-hmm. then that they come from nowhere. Yeah. And we've been down very, very well. So obviously the, the people there were fortunate to say, a lot of them were, were Irish, but a lot, a lot of Britons and so Their music is, and, and their positions are more like something similar, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And their music is quite like our own, is much slower. Yeah. And their dances are much slower than our own. Yes, because that's the thing that um, the French and the Americans went for is, is fast, you know, music mm-hmm. fast. Um, I think they like it fast, and when they're used to it, it's a slow pace. Yeah, it's very good. We found too that uh, our dancing was much more lively than even the Scots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Scots dancers. Because the dancing we were doing was much the same like the Scots are doing the Cornish the dancers. Exactly. Nothing we did like ours. Were you dressed in some traditional costume then? Well, we had green, white, and gold. Yeah, all for the arms, yeah. 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 And the rest of the traditions? From the other little ones, they were all costumes. They were all costumes. They were all costumes. They were all costumes. That was one thing that we kind of left. I think we said that our costumes were the real traditional costumes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So in future, so I reckon in, in, in future, just to reckon we should we go for a more of a fancier costume. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, 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 it looks well alike, right? Like, in in traditions like that. Um, the nightlife outside here is just like, um, how, do, how does it blend in or how did you blend in with it? Well, I think it's just being over there and leaving. It would be there, the first person there. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's very good, you know. I mean, the nightlife there and it's all night, you know. Stars are open there all night, so it's so very easy to do, you know. Yeah. 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 How about young people there in the French and Paris? How did you blend in with them? How did you become more like music traditions and... Um, they have, I suppose, yeah, to a certain extent, you know. But I mean, they all seem to love the yeah. Irish, you know, the Irish mm-hmm. music and the dancing and, you know, they really enjoy that. Yeah. And French and English, I think, how did you spell out there? Yeah. Did you meet any of the fair sex? No. I <laughs> <laughs> think so. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And Louise? Yeah. Yeah. And Nancy, um, I presume you're planning some future trips? Well, we are. We're hoping to be back next year, next year and if not next year, the year after. Mm-hmm. So, this time we should probably be more prepared. You know, because we didn't really know how long each performance would last, so we didn't know what kind of performance would be starting and how long they'd last and things like that. So mm-hmm. the next time, if there would be next time, we would be more prepared for that time. Mm-hmm. How do you get on with the guy, do you have a few snares and cocktails? No, we have a cocktail and we have a very nice manager. But uh, most of the meat was okay, yeah. you know. I thought he missed the key. Right, you were uh, saying there, right, that the 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 you know big in chemistry. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
Förlag nio av en stekant dålig i Rydvars som ser hon är på någon typ av fall så förlag nio är en typ kompanion en unik en av de viktigaste som vi har nu och vi därför kan vi inte säga att vi kan säga att vi har en typ av 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 typ